Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This particular one is an HP 15BW model. And if you want to know the exact model for your laptop, you can find it at the bottom of the laptop, which will say right by the gray right there, model 15-3W003. And the last two uh, letters, that means the country where it's originally um, purchased, which is an LA, Latin America, US, US obviously, CA for Canada, and so on and so forth. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade your mechanical drive to an SSD solid state drive. And the reason is the solid state drives are much, much faster than a uh, mechanical drive that you have in here. The improvement of over the speed is a humongous improvement you will see. I'll leave the link in the description for a few solid state drives. The cheap brands are Kingston and Adata. I will not recommend them. And one of the good brands are the samsung and crucial which are the really good brands all right before we get it started you will need few tools tool number one is a screwdriver set i would recommend you guys to grab the ifixit screwdriver set as they have a s2 class steel bits which are really tough and steels that they don't go bad and we're going to grab the phillips number zero and you can get the pro version of this one which includes you with an opening tools and pliers and tweezers but if you don't want to get the pro version for the opening tool i'm going to be using a guitar pick you can use a guitar pick which is really tough and soft edges really suitable to opening plastics all right once you have the your ssd ready you pick ready and your screwdriver ready now we're going to power it off we're going to flip it upside down we're going to start removing the battery by pulling the battery backward obviously remove it to lock position and slide it out now there's a hidden screws under the rubber legs right here so to peel them off to so just put the opening tools at the on the edge and just lift it up it has a little adhesive to it so it will just come out just like that on the bottom legs in the front two uh, remove all of them and you will see one screw on each rubber leg on the bottom so and there's a two screw right on the battery and one hidden screw right in here it just camouflages kind of right here and the one in the mid front we're going to go ahead and start removing all the screws all the screws are the same size and high so don't worry about mismatching them so go ahead and remove them also i realized that it's only one person of my viewers are subscribing to my channel if you find my content helpful and helping you guys out, I will really appreciate it if you guys support my channel by clicking like and subscribing. It really means a lot. I will really appreciate it. Once you remove all the screws, all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit or completely doesn't matter. And what you want to do, you want to stick the guitar pick opening tool between the top and the bottom cover. There's a tiny line right in the front, just like that. And all you need to do is just twist it, and you should hear some clicks. Just keep doing it all around in the front. And do the sides all the way to the back, to the corner backs. Do the side where the USB ports, HDMI cables are, everything like that. All right, once you got that in there, now we're going to close it down. We're going to grab it from one side, and the side that only has one USB and SD card reader. And we're going to lift it up. And you want to wiggle around. There's a clip in the middle. You just have to pull up a little hard. And it should come out pretty easy. And the reason we don't pull up from this side is we don't want to break any of these ones here. So it's easier to lift up from the SD card side. All right, once you lift it up, the hard drive is really noticeable. This is a mechanical drive, which is being held down to the motherboard uh, to the base by one screw. So go ahead and remove this tiny screw at the, at the back. Now we can actually lift up the hard drive a little bit up, not too hard because you don't want to break the contact. Just lift it up 
as long as you can just pull it back and then it slide it gently backward. Don't yank it upward, otherwise you're gonna break the contact. And this is one terabyte Western Digital, yours might be different. We need this bracket right at the back, so this is called a carry. To remove the carry, there's a two screws. Go ahead and remove these two screws. All right. Now we're gonna remove the carry, remove the hard drive, grab the new hard drive, place it in the same position. You can't put it the other way around because the screws won't go through. There's no screw holes here. So you have to put it in the same position and screw it down. Also, right now you can just bring it down and slide it right through the connector and punch it right in there and put the screw for the caddy. The SSDs are a little bit slim, so you have extra space on the bottom to hide your stuff. <coughs> so yeah, anyway. So once you got the new hard drive in there and you wanna grab the top cover, Bring down the side where the audio jack and HDMI cable is, so you want to scoop it down through here. Make sure it just goes down, press it down while I'm holding this side up. And then I'm going to let go and just press it down the front end, make sure it does click, go to the side, press down towards the back, under the battery, and make sure it hit those clicks. And the last thing down here would be to just put down the screws. Also, if you, once you go to the new hard drive you have installed, the mechanical size drive, remember that you will not have any operating system installed in there. So you have to install a new Windows installation. I made a video how to burn a Windows 10 into your USB drive. So you can just plug it in here and boot it from there. I'll leave the link in the description. And also I'll leave a link for my other video how to install Windows 10 on HP laptops. All the HP laptops are the same in way of installing Windows. So just remember when you have the Windows 10 uh, USB ready, boot disk ready. Once you put it in, power it on and press tap pressing escape. And then you will see a menu from there you choose F9, which is the boot menu. And you choose your USB drive from there. And then the installation is really forward. And I'll leave some tricks on the how to install it properly. Check my other videos. All right, we are done here and we have the new hard drive installed in the laptop. I hope you guys like this video. And if you did like it, please click that like button and think about subscribing. And thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.